Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for today's CITI program webinar. Today's topic is patient-sponsored engagement, how patients shape clinical development, and will be presented by Mary Stober Murray from Murray Advisors LLC. Mary provides guidance and project leadership to nonprofit and for-profit clients seeking to advance better outcomes for patients. Mary has spent more than a decade leading diversity and patient engagement efforts in drug development in prior roles at Bristol Myers Squibb and as a Vice President of Collaborative Action Networks at the Health Equity Nonprofit National Minority Quality Forum Incorporated. Mary has spearheaded winning collaborations that promote patient and caregiver engagement in healthcare, particularly among elderly and underserved populations and those living with cancer, dementia, and other serious conditions. So the learning objectives for today's session are, by the end of the session, you should be able to explain the reasons sponsors of clinical trials integrate patient perspectives into medicine's development. You should be able to describe some patient engagement frameworks, approaches, and metrics. You should be able to identify barriers to patient engagement, detail the co-creation process among clinical trial stakeholders in developing patient engagement mechanisms, and outline future implications of patient engagement for emerging trends in the conduct of clinical trials. But patient engagement key performance indicators are also emerging. And let's remember we've got the organization level, the advisor level, and clinical encounter level. So what might a KPI look like at the organization level? How many program and protocol decisions can we attribute to the patient insights we gather? Have we gathered qualitative assessments by the study teams about including patients in the protocol development and implementation? And what are the processes and templates we've put now in place to support patient engagement? Those are some KPIs at the organizational level. In closing, I'd also invite everyone to review our content offerings regularly, as we are continually adding new courses and webinars in various areas of research, ethics, compliance and professional development.